I just asked one. you if your intention was to arrest me if I didn't provide the details, and you point. said yes, yes so that's that's the, the threat is arrest. Uh, yeah, under section 13 we can require you to provide your details. What is section 13? Mm -hmm. That's section 13 of the Criminal Justice and Licence Scotland Act 2010. Okay, it comes with an arrest power. And at that point, I'd, sadly for yourself, you have to turn your phone off because you become an arrested person. Sadly for yourself, you'll have to turn your phone off because you'll become an arrested person. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Are you serious? So let's have a look at the section 13 and see what it actually says. He said, it's section 13 of the Criminal Justice and Licensing Scotland Act 2010. It's section 13 of the Criminal Justice and Licensing Scotland Act 2010. So what is this act? Well, as far as I can tell, it's an act that relates to someone who is applying for a licence to sell alcohol to the local council. <laughs> what, why are they asking me about this? Mm -mm. Why is he citing this section to me? He's telling me that under this section I am required to give him my details. So he's either lying or he's making things up or he's just completely incompetent. <laughs> so then he says, it comes with an arrest power. Okay, it comes with an arrest power. <laughs> arrest for what? <laughs> I haven't been trying to sell alcohol to anyone without a licence. What are you trying to arrest me for? So she's telling me that under this section 13, they can require me to provide my details. Uh, yeah, under yeah. section 13, they can require you to provide your, deta provide your details Please. too. What? So this didn't make any sense to me at all. And it didn't make any sense to the female cop either, who I believe is the probationer here. And she decided to Google it. He joined in with some googling. So after about four minutes of googling, the female officer finally found a section that might relate to why they're here and why they want me to give them my details. So she gets the section right and here it is. It's section 13 of the Criminal Procedure Scotland Act 1995 and under section 13 paragraph 1 and 1a a person being questioned by the police is required under certain circumstances and I'll come back to that in a minute to provide five details to the police and these details are your name, your address, your date of birth, your place of birth and your nationality. But here's what I didn't know at the time and here's what the police didn't inform me of that section 13 paragraph 1 has a subsection and the subsection A says this that person if the constable finds him at that place or any place and here's the important part where the constable is entitled to be so the thing is for a constable or for constables to be entitled to be at a place that is private property they must have a warrant these cops did not have a warrant, they were not entitled to be on my property. Therefore, I was not required to provide them the five points that they were asking for. Now, did the cops know this and withhold that information from me? Or did they not know because they're incompetent? Or did they just lie? So either knowing that this was a lie, or not knowing about this at all because they're incompetent, or just making stuff up, they then threatened to arrest me if I did not provide those details. Now, even if they had been in a place where they were lawfully entitled to be, and I had refused to give them those details, they have no powers of arrest. The fact is, and it explains in section 13, that if a person does not provide those details, he may be committing an offence, and on conviction of that offence that he may be committing, is liable for a fine. That's it. No arrest power there. So once again, he was lying or he just didn't know because he was incompetent. Now this is a police officer who appeared to me was the training officer for a young probationer. Is it any wonder that the people of Scotland have no faith in the police? 
So when they finally toddle off down the path, they throw back that they are going to report the matter to the Procurator Fiscal. As I said, based on what's been reported to us, it will be passed over to the PF. Um, it's up to them whether they want to take it further, take it to court, whether you provide the documentation <coughs> to them before said date. Um, it will be paperwork in the post. I'd be really interested to see what they're going to report. Dear Procurator Fiscal, we had a guy coming into the station to tell us he saw another guy flying what might have been a drone, or at least he thinks he was maybe flying a drone over a loch in the middle of nowhere. And then we looked on YouTube and found a video that shows someone flying a drone that looked as if it might have been 500 metres. And then we went to someone's house and asked him for his details and when he refused to give us them we told him we would arrest him. So please Procurator Fiscal, get this criminal in the jail. <laughs> I mean, what? What? If you want to see the full interaction, the full visit unedited, that will take you straight to it. Mm -hmm.